A local construction company is doing its part to try and stop the spread of COVID-19. Fox 43's Jackie Tutori explains what employees are doing to lend a helping hand across South Central Pennsylvania. Kinsley Enterprises would normally be hard at work dealing with dozens of construction projects right now. Instead, that York County-based company is now using its resources to help the community during the COVID-19 pandemic. We've been amazed at the response of our employees um, not only to dealing with the upheaval of uh, what this uh, pandemic has thrown upon us, but what they've been doing to sort of go above and beyond and help. Rob Kinsley is the CEO of Kinsley Enterprises. He says he's amazed by how many employees in South Central Pennsylvania have been willing to help, especially when it comes to the coveted N95 masks that construction crews usually wear and now are desperately needed for health care workers. We sent out a call to all of our employees to start scouring job sites, job trailers, company vehicle storage rooms. And uh, within a, the, the week that we were asked, we collected somewhere between five and 600 masks. They've now donated those masks to local medical professionals. Kinsley has also donated a property to the York County Food Bank for a second location to help with the need during this pandemic. They were able to get that up and running. And my understanding is in the first day, they were able to distribute something like 1,700 meals to families out of that new location. Kinsley is also giving $30,000 to the York County COVID-19 Response Fund. That fund was created by the United Way of York County and the York County Community Foundation. It gives grants to local nonprofit organizations to help people affected by the pandemic in York County. We're very aware that this challenge has impacted everyone. And besides helping the community, some employees are even helping each other. Patriot Broadband Construction, which is part of Kinsley, is now working to support critical communication like 911 centers and first responder services. So while those crews are across the country making sure everything is working properly, their fellow employees back home have been making their own hand sanitizer with products that they found around the house and around the office and then sending it to them in the field. Jackie DeTore, Fox 43 News.